Project Boundary back in the bike barn needing a little attention and it's deserving of attention. This is probably at this point, I think my most loaned out project bike, at least over the last six to eight months, it hasn't even been in my possession in that amount of time. And I'm gonna let you guess what you think it is, the component that needs attention or actually replacement. Out of everything done here on Project Boundary, I'll make a full video on this, but comment below and see if you get it right. If you do, maybe I'll edit it into the video and maybe give you a shout out. And while I'm out here in the bike barn, let me just mention a little side info. The YouTube play buttons, they're dentable. I don't know if you can see. This metal housing is actually aluminum and a bike fell into it and dented it. So yay for the dented play button. And here's another bike barn nugget of info for you. I charged this just a few days ago. Look at this. It's clearly, oh, all right, let, let it get through its noise making. Clearly still has a charge, yet I got a notification letting me know that it was completely dead. So very weird still with this segue. Man, I don't, I don't know about this thing. Should I keep this? So I don't know, comment, <laughs> I just saw a phone notification letting me know that it had been tampered with from where I just moved it, but what do you think? Should I keep this? Should I keep it? I kind of need it for one more video, but beyond that, I don't know. Just seems like a lot of money tied up into nothing. Just too slow. Not like that. This has been absolutely awesome. I'm totally amazed with how Project Boundary, and you'll remember from my original review, I was happy with the Boundary in its factory form for what it was. Very good bike, gets even better with a few extra parts. While I'm out here, I'm gonna be throwing this away, or not throwing it away, sending it to recycling, but this is that DM fork I bought quite some time ago. A 26er fork I spent $40 on, and I was really shocked when I opened this up. The packaging inside with the fork in it, I mean, it was like a rock shocks. Unveiling, but it turns out I got something super, super special inside this box. And it was only $40, so stay tuned for that. Because you're going to be amazed what luck and $40 can get you. And just FYI, this is kind of a placeholder video because I got sidetracked. Dealing with a flooded basement tomorrow's video, a new bike I call the Pork Chop. Take a guess. Comment below with what bike you think is available at Walmart and I might have nicknamed Pork Chop. And something else. Let me go ahead and give away a couple of stickers from the last video where I said, you remember, nine bike review videos, I said I would start giving away a couple of stickers, each one or at least a sticker. Today's winners, JB1, said, keep it coming, Kev. Well, thank you, I hope too. You get a sticker and also Speedy V. Speedy V said, give us the insight on how the bike review business works. And what, what you're talking about is how many reviews you see are paid or paid under the table because man have I got some insights on that but I'm still kind of up in the air about it so we'll see so comment I guess also with that man that's a lot of comments comments but I want to hear your feedback I really enjoy it but you too get stickers and if you didn't get a sticker this time any comment below I'll randomly pick and say about a week and choose two more people to get stickers. And I may as well answer one more viewer question. Whoever you are, I can't, can't get to my screen right now to see, but you asked about the aluminum comp. You bought a new aluminum comp, so congratulations on that. This is the seat of Project Comp, Project Comp V2. The reason I have this is because you asked what seat post diameter, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there it is, it's 27.2 is the seat post diameter for the Schwinn aluminum comp, so I hope that helps you out. Also, I guess I should mention, since I'm talking about random stuff, that it looks like bike prices are going back up, at least as far as our big box bikes go. You know, we'd hit that weird lull where prices had mysteriously, even in our inflation economy, had dropped down. Now they're going back up, so factor that in if you're planning on buying a bike. Also, and I don't have any stickers other than this one out here, but I have holographic stickers. That's what this is. So if you imagine this sticker without the bike part, the standard Kev Central logo, but in two by two, holographic two by two stickers, I have them on the way. Had a few people asking about them. So just FYI on that. And the dirt on my hands is because it touched the boundary. 
just know if you're looking for those two by two holographics on the way should probably be here within a week or so so that's it i guess i'll wrap up this video i could find different things in here in the bike barn to talk about all that oh yeah one other thing you'll remember i used to do live streams out here and i had to quit because the computer died but i got the replacement computer and i have it mounted now everything is working so live streams should be coming back soon Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and be sure to comment on Project Boundary, what you think it is that needs attention after over six months, actually probably closer to eight, nine separate riders, over 40 hard trail rides. It hasn't had an easy life. So guess what you think it is that needs some attention and you'll see in an upcoming video. Also take a guess on what you think Pork Chop is. Which bike from Walmart currently available do I call pork chop and you'll see that probably tomorrow. Again, thanks for watching Kev Central and have a great day.